Hi, I'm Alex Satmarie, and I'm a mechanical engineer at Hexagon. I help students and professors put our software to work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the settings for MSC Apex. Uh, this is a set of generally useful settings, and they will make things run really smoothly if you're using tutorials that I'm showing off in a couple of other videos. Let's go. So let's configure some settings in Apex. We're going to go to Options, Application Settings, Units and Parameters. We'll make sure that we're on the Units tab. By default, Apex uses SI base units, which is really great. Uh, the issue that I have is that by default they're using radians, and degrees would be more convenient for geometry edit operations. So we'll just scroll down in this list, and kind of near the bottom is where the degrees units are. This one is SI base units with degrees, so we've selected that, and we'll hit OK. Next, we'll click on the Parameters tab and change to the default number of decimal places from 2 to 4. This will show results with more precision. OK, and I'll hit OK to get out of that. I want to show you something about the geometry here, and we're going to change settings that fix it. By default, Apex represents curved surfaces in a way that's a little coarse, um, and this makes it run a little faster if you have very big assemblies. But like here, I just have one cylinder, and if you look at it and on the cylinder itself, Looks like it is a 10-sided polygon, something like that. So let's fix that. Um, and I should say that what I'm about to show you is just aesthetic. It's not going to change the quality of the finite element modeling results, but it will make round things look more round. So I'll go back into Options, Application Settings, and click Tolerances. And we'll set it to Watertight and set the Curve Tolerance to Very Fine. Face Tolerance should automatically get set to Very Fine also and we'll click OK. And right away you can see that my cylinder now has a nice smooth circular cross section. All right, great, we've been able to set up our settings in Apex. So that was just a quick overview of how to change some of the settings in Apex. Hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, I want you to check the description for this video. It has helpful information on things like how to download our software for free uh, and links to educational resources. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. Feel free to message me on LinkedIn with questions. And if you're a professor who's interested in teaching simulation with our software, please reach out. I'd really like to hear from you. Thanks.